Good morning. Today, we are in the hotel. I have to run five miles and I tried to like figure out a running course outside here in Sherman Oaks, but I just don't know this area well enough to feel comfortable about doing that. So we're gonna treadmill it. <sighs> Wish me luck. So I finished my five mile run on the treadmill, but the treadmill was clearly on a gradient. It was on an incline. I've noticed this about hotel treadmills. They're not calibrated to actually be flat um, so that, you know, 0% hill is actually like a little bit of a hill. And I did not anticipate that, wasn't ready for that, and really didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> but it was fine, I got it done. I'm really glad that I got it done. Now I'm absolutely starving. So I think I'm just gonna go downstairs and grab some breakfast and get to work. See this? This is my hair situation. Every hour it gets this tangle, even if I brush it every day. <sighs> I have used the detangling brush. I have used uh, witch hazel. I've used detangling solution, conditioners. Honestly, my shampoo guidelines are very simple. Number one, vegan. Number two, pump. <laughs> I think the hardest thing about traveling for me is not like, oh, you know, how do you eat? How do you do your vegan thing? How do you run? Like. For me, the hardest part about traveling is traveling alone. Like, I, I hate being away from my husband. I hate being away from my dog. I hate being away from my house. <laughs> I love traveling, but I also love my home, if that makes sense. I remember when I first started dating Anthony and I had to travel for work and stuff, which I had to travel for work a lot. I, like, we get so insecure about our relationship, I was like a super insecure person about relationships. I think it's just, I had, you know, attachment issues growing up with my parents and as a result of that, like, I always needed, like, constant reaffirmation. Very annoying, <laughs> I'm sure, very annoying, but Anthony was like, you know, reasonably patient about it. He is very empathetic in many ways and I think that really helped us, but you know, we speak very different languages sometimes when it comes to love, and as a result of that, sometimes it was really difficult for us to understand each other. And when I traveled, everything became much worse because I was always on high alert. Like, I needed to see extra affirmations of love, and Anthony, of course, was like, what? <laughs> so it wasn't, like, natural for him. But the great thing about my husband is that once you sort of tell him what you need, like 90% of the time, even if it's not something that he would ordinarily do without being asked, he'll do it. Even if he thinks it doesn't make sense or even if he doesn't agree necessarily with it, for him knowing that it makes me happy or it makes me more comfortable or less insecure is always more important to him than what it costs him to actually do it. That is like probably one of the things that can easily go unnoticed because you're just like, oh, well, of course, I'm right, he's wrong. The things that I learned from my first marriage is that sometimes it really doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. It's about what you can take and what's good for you. Like, what are you willing to sacrifice and you know how far are you willing to go because of that i always try to view things through not just like what i need but what does it cost anthony to give me what i need is it costing him too much is it you know making things too hard for us to bear as a relationship in the beginning like i would have like all these weird rules like when i travel like we need to talk at least once a day before i go to bed if you go anywhere like if you go out to dinner or blah blah blah, you have to call me after you come home and he was like what <laughs> i was that girlfriend i was like i'm not proud of it but you know once we got married so much of that just disappeared i don't know why like I don't know, but I'm really glad that it did for his sake. <laughs>
for your first soft open. Good morning. Good morning. I am so excited. Sorry, it's fogging uh, oh, no, it's my glasses. So, you <laughs> know, fogging? I just woke up, you Did know. Did you go on a bender last night? What is that? A bender. <laughs> what that means? <laughs> So bender is like when you go partying really hard. Oh goodness! <laughs> I'm like if partying really hard, it's being in a bed by 10:30. Then yes, it was a really good party for me. Ooh, so we're very excited today. It's not actually a real or, or big opening today. It's a soft opening. Okay, it's just for the people we invited, and that's one of the reasons we are here, right? <laughs> Grand opening. It's on Sunday. Ooh, we are getting breakfast. And it's very cold. Okay. Oatmeal. And we're gonna have avocado toast and we'll share it. <laughs> Drumomania. Yes, I have a diagnosis from a doctor that I have Drumomania. It is it is an urge to go somewhere and it's real. It's not like it's not like oh I wish I could go somewhere. It's like I have to. Or like or like I'll die. I cannot be like I, I visited over a hundred I lived I lived in a different country. So I just moved to live somewhere like I went to Norway, I went to Spain and I was like okay. I went to Mexico, finished college over there. Then went to Qatar, Middle East, just so I can be somewhere and then go from I work for a airline just so I can go places. It's a thing and in the school I was getting in trouble. I was like a straight A student and stuff. Very good. But I would escape school to take a random bus and escape to a different uh, city. With no makeup and no filter. Can you do filter for me? <laughs> Got some avocado toast, some oatmeal, vanilla oatmeal, breakfast potatoes, and ketchup. Uh, but we're not just any ketchup, okay? It is a no high fructose corn syrup, Thank you. okay? It's very that. important for me it's in ketchup. It's very important. Yeah. <laughs> promise. No, we, we promise, okay? <laughs> Vegan ramen in my honor. Very, very honored. First time trying it. 